All right, today I want to show you a whole bunch of history's weirdest inventions, starting with the man catching tank, <laughs> the latest in bank security solutions. See, uh, back in 1921, a dude named Stanley Valinsky submitted a patent for this giant steel tube thing as a mobile suit of armor that bank security guards were supposed to like climb inside of. Basically, the guard was supposed to just like sit inside the machine in an out of the way corner of the bank. And then if anybody came in and tried to rob the tellers, he's just supposed to come shooshing out of the corner and just wrap up the robber with those big steel arms and just catch them and hold them until the cops come. <laughs> Uh, the machine even had like wheels on the bottom and a little motor in it too to make sure that you could come flying across the floor of the bank fast enough to catch the guy before he ran away. Hey, uh, you know those hot water bottles that you're supposed to put on your head if you're sick? Well, if you're feeling a little bit under the weather, but you still need to go out and run some errands, then why not give a try to the hot water bottle helmet from 1948? Are you sick of having a shower after you work out? and buy yourself a Velocipede shower bath and save yourself some time. All right, I just love this one. Basically, all this invention is, is a mirror that you're supposed to attach to your fishing line. And according to the inventor, the point here is that the fish is gonna see its reflection in the mirror and then think that that reflection is another fish that's trying to get the bait. And so that's gonna trigger its like competitive instincts and make it wanna rush over and eat the bait before the other fish can get to it. Okay, uh, so this next one is just so insane that you're not even gonna believe it's a real thing. Look at this monstrosity of a machine here. That right there in the center of this humongous contraption is a pregnant woman who is actively giving birth. <laughs> This machine is called the Apparatus for Facilitating the Birth of a Child by Centrifugal Force. <laughs> and so what this thing is supposed to do, I swear to God, is spin around in a circle so fast that the baby just comes flying out of the mother from the force of just flipping all around. Like this is a real patent. Like you can look it up yourself if you want. There's the number right there. <laughs> And the craziest part too is according to the patent records, the machine can supposedly generate up to seven G's worth of force on the mother, which for reference, astronauts experience like three G's worth of force during rocket launches. Like this thing can spin around at 224 feet per second, which is like 150 miles an hour. So the baby's just gonna come like launching out of there at Mach 10, I guess. And the mother's like, passing out from the g-forces and I, don't, I guess all the doctors are getting their chests caved in trying to catch this baby flying out of the mother and how do you even stop this it's like a giant lawnmower blade like this might actually be the craziest thing that i have ever found on this youtube channel all right so after the crazy birth slash death machine how about we move on to something a little more gentle a new kind of alarm clock from 1882 that's meant to ease you into the day. See, instead of a loud, blaring, obnoxious alarm, this machine just gently lowers a bunch of corks hanging from strings down onto your face to caress your skin and softly wake you up from your slumber. The shock absorbing cap from 1920. Normally, a smack on the head with a lead pipe would rattle your brains all up, right? But with the shock absorbing cap on, you are A-OK. -okay. Like, look at that dude. He doesn't even care. The baby cage. Feel like your baby needs some more sun? Well then, hang him out the window in a cage. Here's another pretty wild one. We got a device for inducing sleep from 1885. I really wish the patent record actually had like a drawing of this thing on a person. But what this is, is a collar that you're supposed to wrap around your neck that has a thumb screw on it. And what you're supposed to do is tighten the screw enough that the collar cuts off the blood flow to your brain and knocks you unconscious so you can get some sleep. <laughs> so you're literally just supposed to choke yourself to sleep and then I guess get your eight hours while you're lying there in bed with no oxygen flow. How about the shocking stocking? This one is for the ladies that are afraid of mice. 
It's a set of stockings that are lined with copper wire and electrically charged with a battery so that if a mouse ever comes run up your leg, it just zaps them and off the little rodent goes flying across the room. Hey, uh, you know, back during the late 1800s and early 1900s, dimples were considered like fashionable, right? So of course, a dimple maker was eventually patented and sold to the public. You just uh, attach it to your face and give it a crank and there you go. Give yourself some dimples. <laughs> this was a, actually like a surprisingly big thing as far as I can tell. Like I found two separate devices meant to give you dimples and even a few articles talking about women suing professional dimple makers because their faces got all like screwed up and scarred by the machines. All right, next up is the Hollister wind bag from 1939 and there is no real way for me to delicately explain this one. Like it, it is literally just a bag and a tube that collects your farts. <laughs> like you put this thing in your pants and then whenever you fart, the gas just goes into the bag so that nobody can smell it. And then I guess you're just supposed to like discreetly empty your fart bag like out the window when nobody's looking or something like, like or you just like take a smoke break and go outside and then just like frantically fumble around with the fart bag in your underwear trying to let the gas out without anybody noticing. The uh, tapeworm trap from 1854. This is exactly what it sounds like. It's basically like a fishing rod. You just put some food in that little capsule there and then you swallow the capsule and then the tapeworm takes the bait and whoosh, you just pull it out of your guts. I do not think that is how tapeworms work at all. All right, how's about a bunch of gun related inventions? Like here's a gun hat, for example. <laughs> There's really not much to say about this one. It's basically just a gun hat for cops so that if they're like grabbing two burglars and then a third one starts shooting at them, you just blam! And how about a gun plow? You're just like out tending to your fields, I guess, and then somebody's coming at you with a knife and blam! All right, here's a good one from 1921 for bank tellers. It's a gun that you put in your armpit that's triggered by a little squeeze pad in your hand. <laughs> so if anybody ever holds you up, you just gotta stick your arms in the air, right? And pretend like you're giving up and then pow, you just shoot them with your armpit. Okay, I'm thinking this one must have some kind of like fatal flaw that makes it not work properly. Cause I feel like the central idea of this invention is actually pretty good. It's a heated ice cream scoop. So that way you don't have to wait for the ice cream to thaw before you can scoop it. The scoop just goes right on in because it's all hot. The automatic derby tipper from 1896. Are you sick of having to reach up your hand to tip your hat? Well, just have this thing do it for you. All right, here's a good one. A rat trap that was patented back in 1908. Basically all this trap does is put bells on the necks of rats that get caught in it. And so the idea is that once the rat has a bell on its neck, it's gonna run back to the rat nest and scare all the other rats out of the house with the ringing of the bell. <laughs> all right, here's another one that is just so out there that it's kind of hard to believe that it's actually an official patent. But again, swear to God, this is real. It is an amusement device from 1922. Basically, this is supposed to be like a game. You have one player who sits on the end there and sticks their butt in the air. And then the other guy is supposed to stand on that platform and throw baseballs at their opponent's butt. And that's the entire game. Like the target has this lever thing that apparently moves the throwing platform around so that it's kind of hard to aim. But <laughs> this is just the most weirdly specific thing you could ever come up with, right? Like even putting aside how crazy the game itself is, you're really supposed to get this giant like thing installed in your house just so you can sometimes launch baseballs at your friend's butt. Like, it seems like something they would put in like a jackass movie. You ever wanted to dress up like a fake cow and shoot ducks? Dr. Cheever's electric belt was heavily advertised in newspapers all across the country back in the 1880s. If you have any derangement of the procreative organs, then this thing is supposed to constantly electrocute your procreative organs until they're back to normal. Sounds perfect. Are you sick of helicopters? Well, then this guy in 1959 has got an invention for you. Combination flask and hairbrush, anyone? Combination flask and hairbrush? 
Lip shaper, anyone? Uh, lip shaper, you wanna change the shape of your lips? Uh, give this thing a shot. How about a nose shaper then? Uh, just slap this bad boy on and in no time, your nose will go from that to that. All right, this one is literally just a balloon with dynamite attached to it that you're supposed to float up into the air and then blow up and apparently somehow doing that is supposed to summon rainfall. Hey, you wanna drive around in a big transparent ball? You wanna drive around in a giant spinning wheel? You wanna have a megaphone attached to your car so that you can scream at people? All right, here is a hypodermic needle made in the shape of a bunny or a cat. So supposedly this thing is supposed to ease the fears of children who are afraid of needles. Like, <laughs> I guess the kid's not gonna be scared of the cat with the giant sharp pointy nose that's coming to suck their blood. All right, we're uh, starting to run a little long here. So how about we close things out with the machine for sensational motions? <laughs> An idea that is so insane that it even rivals the spinning birth contraption from earlier. So this one comes from the year 1891 from a French guy named Caron or Karen. And what he wants to do is build a gigantic bullet shaped pod thing that's big enough to fit 15 people inside and then hoist the pod up to the top of the Eiffel Tower and then just drop it off. And that's Pretty much it, you just drop 15 people off of the Eiffel Tower in a giant metal bullet. <laughs> but uh, although this thing might sound like uh, some kind of death machine, it's actually supposed to be sort of like an amusement park ride because Caron also wanted to dig a huge pond underneath the Eiffel Tower so that the pod would fall into that and I guess lessen the impact on the passengers. So, so 15 people, are supposed to enjoy the feeling of free falling at 172 miles per hour in a 10 ton bombshell looking thing, and then gently fall into the pond and land with no injury. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, I don't think this one ever got pilled. <laughs> Thank you for watching.